Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to vlog 16. You are not gonna wanna miss this. Probably the best vlog I've done yet, Ian has put together. Don't miss this. You wanna know what happened to him and Parker? Why we had to shut that store down? Watch this vlog. I probably opened up, oh man, 25 locations, but I only have eight right now. And here's a little, for all you listening right now, we literally just kicked someone out of the franchise yesterday. So we're gonna talk about that here in a little bit on this. So don't don't go away from this podcast, keep listening. I got a good nugget for you. Now I'm down to seven. <laughs> I think it, everything boils down to one variable for success. So, uh, Kurt, there's some drama this morning, uh, stuff going on. What's what's up? Uh, man, sometimes business is hard. Running a franchise is hard. Um, we had one of our franchisees kind of just go off the deep end, post a bunch of vulgar stuff on, on social media, and he's been doing it for a while. We warned him. He had one yesterday that went viral, poorly viral. A lot of negative press, a lot of bad comments, like people... And I don't, and I don't blame them. The, the post was bad. So literally today, it's been scrambling, trying to get in front of this thing, get in front of the bad press, doing videos, put them out. Uh, literally, just right now, we kicked it, the franchise out of the, the franchisee out of the franchise. Um, going over there, removing his sign, removing all the Fit Republic branding. He's no longer a Fit Republic, and we'll be shutting him down here within a few weeks when we can legally. Uh, have lawyers take care of it and, and make it happen, but hey, that's part of running businesses. That's what I signed up for, I guess, right? I don't know, man. So yeah, they're, they're, we're literally going over to take on the sign right now. I'm writing emails to my lawyer. Business is hard sometimes. It just is what it is, but at the end of the day, this is what I signed up for. The sun still shines and life still goes on, so let's keep going. So that sign, we are removing. All right, so I just want to say that we were very serious about not condoning suicide or hurting yourself he does not represent what we believe hey everyone welcome to the franchise marketing podcast today i have kurt from fit republic how you doing kurt hey jordan thanks for having me on man i appreciate you yeah i'm super excited i've been watching your youtube videos uh, for a while so I'm, I'm glad that i finally uh, have you on the podcast for those who don't know you, could you introduce yourself a little and tell me a bit more about Fit Republic? Yeah, for sure. Uh, again, my yeah, my name's Kurt Belding. I am a serial entrepreneur. I also manufacture products for all my locations. I have a meal prep company that we do uh, pre-prepared healthy meals at, to all the locations. I have a bunch of other companies that I do. Like I said, I'm a serial entrepreneur, but I know this is a franchise kind of podcast, so let's Let's dig into that franchise, and I got some good stuff for you, Jordan. You're gonna like this. And and how has your process been um, from a learning perspective, bringing on new franchisees? Man, I tell you what, franchising is hard. I ran into tr a tremendous amount of problems doing it that way. So anybody that's listening out there, if you're thinking about franchising, yeah, you know it's a great model to receive funding if you don't have the funding yourself to open up more locations but my suggestion would get some help with some people that know more than you. And then the biggest mistake that I made, because I used to be a franchisee, I had the mindset of, who am I to tell, no, you can't franchise my brand. If you got money, man, and you wanna do this, and you think this is, this is what you wanna do for your career, hell, let's do it and we'll figure it out. You know, And that was the biggest mistake, because not everyone's meant to own their own business. One thing that, kept me, that has uh, been brought up time after time is, you know, cultural fit um, to your franchises and making sure that, you know, yes, you do want to grow quickly, but it's also balancing the, um, 
the, the franchise culture and the culture of the company at the same yeah. time as well. How have you uh, found that as you've been expanding to uh, locations? So, man, that's super important. And that's I had to learn that the hard way. Again, my mindset was like, okay, I'm just a small mom and pop dude. I wanted to, I wanted, let's go big. I want to make this big. I want a hundred locations. I don't have money to do that. The, the biggest problem I, I ran into is I let anybody do it. And then I came, any personalities really. Like, if you want to do it, let's do it. You want to own your own business? Awesome. And I, I was, uh, what's the word? I, I don't want to say ego, but I was definitely blinded to the fact that I thought I could teach anybody how to run a business. Was not the case at all. Yeah, man, that was the biggest problem. I let anybody do it. And then I ran into personality differences. I ran into, and it, it was funny because karma comes back, right? Because I was a knucklehead franchisee that thought he knew better. And then now I have these franchisees that says, ah, I paid $25,000 to have your model, but I'm not going to follow it. Go kick sand. I'm going to do what I want. You know, so like. <laughs> Why did you kick uh, this franchisee out? You know, what caused it? Uh, love to hear more. Sure. Okay. You're ready for it, right? So like yeah. literally no, yesterday, no, this no, happened. Scared. Yeah, man. Here we go. Um, and again, it was a judgment call from myself. I knew there's some red flags here and there, but he seemed to keep it under control. Six months to a year after owning his own store now, it power started kind of getting to his head. And this is my business. I can do whatever I want. You can't tell me what to do. I'll do whatever I want. This is my business. Well, you know, he didn't own it. He hasn't paid for it. He's a franchisee. He's still got to follow the franchise rules, right? You can't make the brand look bad. So, all right, here it is. Now I'm coming up to it. Social media is very big these days, correct? Oh, correct. It can make or break your business real fast. I've spent 10 plus years building my brand of Fit Republic. And in one post, not even a post, a story, it all almost came down. So this guy started... And he, he's got a weird sense of humor, started being very vulg vulgar on social media, on his business page, not even his personal page, his business page. Started putting out posts with very sexual innuendos towards women, degrading. We warned him multiple times, you can't do this, you're breaking policy. His response was, uh, and is it okay if I cuss in your podcast, Jordan? By all means. Fuck you, this is my business, I'll do what the hell I want to do. All right, I'm like, okay, cool. And my philosophy is I'm not going to go back at him, you know, uh, tit for tat. I'm going I'm to speak softly and carry a big stick. So I'm preparing myself, documenting, all right, we got to get this guy out. Two days ago, he does a post. And it's literally what it said. It's a pre-workout. And it wasn't even a post. It was a story that said, if, you don't, if this pre-workout does nothing for you, you are broken and you need to commit suicide. And I'm going to remind you. This is Mental Health Awareness Month. Enough people saw it, took it, reposted it, share, share, put it on community pages. We had hundreds of shares, thousands of comments, and what I've built over the last 10 years is about to be destroyed. I, I'm a big, I love to hunt. I'm out turkey hunting at 5 a.m. I didn't have any service. I'm all camoed up in a tree, and um, all of a sudden I get service and my phone won't stop vibrating. Just won't stop going off. I'm like, all right, what's going on? I pull it up, message after message after message. Kurt, you got to see this. What's going on? Where are you at? Get back here. So I'm literally camoed up, driving to my business as fast as I can. I, I pop in with all my camos and hunting gear. And say, all right, let's. what do we got to do? Let's take care of it. We made a video with me and all the owners saying we don't condone it. Uh, we're taking legal action right now as we speak. He is no longer a Fit Republic franchisee. We're debranding him and there will be legal action. Two hours later, after we de deployed that video out to all the social media channels, we go to his store and take down his signage. He is no longer a Fit Republic. That's how fast it happened. So now, that big negative press that we had is now a huge positive press. Everyone's commenting, oh my God, you guys are awesome. I cannot believe the action that you took. Long, All right, very long story short, summing it up. Knucklehead, bad social media posts, almost ruined everything I built in two, 10 years. Followed up with a bunch of positivity. Now we have a bunch of positive press. I'm, I'm losing that monthly payment that he's paying me for the business. But the right thing overweighs money, man. Doing the right thing. And with all that press, dude, it's not like I can say, oh, hey, guys, don't worry about it. He'll be a reprimand. I'm going to give him a little slap on the wrist. Heads needed to roll, and his head rolled, man. We, we took care of it. 
All right, guys, now we're gonna switch over some stories that I did this week on my Instagram. Just kind of see, showing some behind the scenes of what I typically do on everyday life. Some of my family, some of my chickens, you get to know their names, check it out. Oh boy, first mow of the season every time she mows. She either runs something over or she gets stuck. Let's see how this turns out. Go ahead, on. Push on it. Push it. Well, so far so good. What's it do? <laughs> Nothing. Come on, let's go up. So you got off the, and now it won't start. <laughs> Weird. Ah! You want to try? I don't know how. Time to go in and check to see if we have any eggs. Let's go see what these pterodactyls are doing. Ooh. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. We got a bunch of eggs in here. Here we've got thing one. These are our names of our chickens. We've got Cooks and Cream and Khaleesi back over here. Ice bath time. Oh, it feels good. It's not too bad when you have a nice view. Okay, come on in. <laughs> come on, that's just a toe. It's just so nice out. I thought I'd come out and fling a couple arrows real quick. Haven't done that for a little over a week at least, so. It's time to let a few go and knock some of the rust off. I think I'll do some long distance. Uh, start out about 70. Just out of the gate cold, see how that goes. Not too bad from 72. I think about switching to a four fletching arrow what do you guys think about that here here's the grouping all kind of all over the place not super tight but not too bad for not shooting for a little bit and being cold so four fletching or three fletching what do you guys think